2017. Oh, Apple announced so much today and I can't cover all of them in one video. So first, so first Apple has announced the HomePod. I personally do not like the name too much, but, but Apple will be working on this later this year. So this is sort of like an Amazon Echo or a Google Home. It has a brand new Apple design woofer and it has a Apple designed A8 chip, which is the exact same chip that is in the iPhone 7. So this brings the speed of the iPhone 7 to the HomePod, which is amazing. So the HomePod has spatial awareness. So there is the outline of the couch that the woman is laying on. You can see that the HomePod has picked up that there is a couch there and knows that. In the fireplace, you can see that there's an, um, there's an outline. So the HomePod it can fill your room, um, your room with music and it can detect the vocals and it can detect the main parts of the music and spread them to all different places in your room so you can have the best music experience as possible. So you can just say, hey Siri. So um, when you say, hey Siri, it just triggers a uh, little, um, some lights on the top and you can say, hey, hey Siri, like, uh, play more music like that and then it'll play more music from your IT, um, from your Apple Music, from your Apple Music library. You can say, like, uh, hey Siri, who's the drummer in this? And then it can tell you, musicologist. There's a very intelligent musicologist in the HomePod, which is insane. So next, there is the iMac Pro. Now, this is Apple's brand new desktop computer. In this one iMac, there are 18 cores. 18 cores in one computer. That is insane. So you can render and edit complete 4K video on this machine, and it can all get done just at lightning speed. You can even connect two 5K displays to the four Thunderbolt Thunderbolt 3 ports. And then you can just see your work on a 44 million pixel canvas. Alright, so now they also released a whole new line of accessories. Well, not exactly that the accessories change, but they added all, um, all new colors. So as you know, especially the iMac that I'm recording on right now is... Uh, it's like white or gray, however you like to call it, but this is like dark, like space gray. So they have a brand new um, Magic Mouse that's space gray, a um, brand new tra uh, trackpad and keyboard, and the iMac itself is space gray, which I love the color, so I am very excited for that. So it does come at a uh, at a whopping $4,999 price point, which is insane, but I am just saying insane because it's a lot, but it definitely fits the, uh, I believe that is a very reasonable price for the machine on because it is Apple's uh, most powerful machine that they make, and it has 18 cores in there, so, <laughs> yeah, just the cores are a lot of money in general, and then you have to add all the GPUs and everything. Next up is the iPad Pro. As you know, there are already two models of an I, of the iPad Pro, I believe it's a 12 inch and 9.5 inch. Um, now there's a new 10.5 inch model, which now Apple can finally fit a perfectly fit full um now, now Apple can finally perfectly fit a full sized keyboard on one iPad. So uh this will make it so much more easier to type with your fingers. iOS 11, which I'm not going to talk about too much in this video, which I don't even know if it will at all matter in fact because it in my opinion is not too much of a big upgrade. Like iOS 6 to iOS 7. I don't know if it, in, in all Apple's history, there's ever going to be an upgrade that big again. It was absolutely huge. So iOS 11 has some more new features with Control Center. Uh, and it does have a few things with iPad Pros, but I know there I there, I know there aren't too too many iPad Pro users out there, so I'm not going to get too into that. But it does have some amazing features. So go ahead and check out the Apple website for that. And you will really be amazed. And there oh there also is a dock at the bottom of the new iPad Pro, which is pretty awesome. Now the new Retina display on the new iPad Pro 10.5 inch is the most advanced display on the planet. So this display has a 120 hertz refresh rate. That is insane. A 120 hertz refresh rate. So normally uh, the standard phone or computer runs at 60 hertz. 120 hertz would be, would be insane. So you can get a full 120 FPS frames per second if you don't know. Uh, movie or game, whatever. So so it doesn't burn your battery because a, as you know, if you want to if you want to use 120 hertz, that would just destroy your battery life. So why Apple is saying that this is the most the, so why Apple is saying this is the most advanced display on the planet is because they can because these displays can detect what you are doing on your iPad and it changes the refresh rate from 60 to um 120 so uh, hertz per, um hertz per second so 
that is absolutely amazing. So if you're watching a movie, you can pop it up way up to 120. If you're seeing notes, you can like, drop down to like 24, um, depending on what you're doing. So yes, yeah, so this is absolutely insane. So now when you um, now the new Apple Pencil has a super low um, now the Apple Pencil has a super low response time time of 20 milliseconds and you can use that 120 hertz per second refresh rate to your advantage with the Apple Pencil. So that is absolutely insane. So there is much more on the Apple website, like tons of stuff. I just want to get this video quickly out there because the keynote just finished an hour, um, about uh, less than an hour ago. So like I said, go to www.apple.com to check out more about everything that was announced today. So yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.